Uh, ready? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Gibberish. Whee! We are very excited about today's episode, and it comes in the fortune of one of my friends leaving something in my fridge. All right. That's uh, the best gift you can give for Christmas this yeah. time of year, is leaving beer in your friend's fridge. No kidding. Or any sort of alcohol. Or uh, right. <laughs> We're, uh... <laughs> So if you've paid attention to the last the last episode, I mean, we, we obviously were reviewed a beer that was in Iowa. It so, is widely distributed throughout the country. Yes. Uh, but now we are going to shift to something that is brewed only in one state and yes. only distributed in one state. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. <laughs> we today have Spotted Cow. Yep, we can't put it there because I can't see it. But Spotted Cow, made from the New Glarus Company up in Wisconsin. Uh, let's see here. Employee-owned New Glarus Brewing Co., Spotted Cow. So I don't know if this is a thing for a lot of people in like other states or whatnot, but New Glarus is a craft brewery, right? I, I would consider it craft. Yeah, yeah, craft brewery. They only distribute in Wisconsin. They don't distribute outside of Wisconsin. And it, it kind of sucks, honestly, that they don't distribute it, distribute it more because it's a really good company. Mm -hmm. And I've had a majority of their beers and they're fantastic. I, I haven't had a single bad New Glarus product. This one is like one of their most famous beers. It's uh, definitely the most popular. Right. It even says on the bottle, only in Wisconsin. So, and it's true. You can only get these in Wisconsin. You can't get them anywhere else. Right. Uh, luckily, we are in Illinois, and, you know, it's like, what, maybe a two-hour drive up to Wisconsin, depending yeah, on where I mean, you go. Milwaukee's, oh, Milwaukee's an hour north of Chicago, so, I mean, it's it's about, about three, three and a half three hours. Half, yeah, okay. So, let's go ahead and go into the details here. Brown bottle with, uh, what would we say, like kind of a tannish brownish and green tan and label. Green, yeah. Tan and green. Like an orange you know, tan. Almost kind of like a Green Bay Packers sort of deal. Let's Unfortunate. Shut up. <laughs> All right, so let's go into the description here. Every drop of Wisconsin's original farmhouse ale is artesian brewed and bottled by the hardworking employee owners of New Glarus Brewing Company. Right here in little New Glarus, Wisconsin. So, brewed in New Glarus. I would have never guessed. I wouldn't either. Spotted Cow adheres to its... What word is that? <laughs> Reinheit Gebot? Gebot? Reinheit Gebot? Purity law, only using four hand-selected all-natural ingredients, yeast, hops, water, and malted barley. We allow yeast to remain in the bottle to enhance the fullness of the flavors so it is naturally cloudy. Expect this ale to be fun, fruity, and satisfying. You know you're in Wisconsin when you see the Spotted Cow only in Wisconsin. And there's Signed, Daniel and Deborah Carey. Yep, right there. So thank you, Daniel and Deborah. We really do appreciate what you guys have done. Uh, for making these beers. For beer. For beer, yeah. Just <laughs> the beer thank community. You. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, we can't really crack these. We can only pop them. Yeah. And we have a bottle opener right here. Handy. Let's see how bad we can screw this up. Pretty bad, I bet. You want me to do yours and I can do mine, or you can do mine and I can do yours? <laughs> I don't care either way. It does not matter. That's the other way, pal. The other way. Yeah, you gotta get this oh, like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not used to this type of bottle opener. Nice little sizzle. Nice. I even got the picture in there perfectly, right Sizz. center for this. Nice little account. sizzle, just like the exile. Just like the exile. Yeah, right. <laughs> Perfect. Make it look easy. I do like to keep these caps though. They're kind of neat. They have the state of Wisconsin on them right there. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. All right, so what is your experience with uh, Spotted Cow? Uh, I mean, every time I've had Spotted Cow, I've liked it. It's always been, it's it's a good just sipping beer. Just a casual drinking beer. It is, it's a good beer. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to New Glarus, my favorite, me being 
the IPA guy that I am, I, I prefer Moon Man. Moon Man is a very good, that's an IPA, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I can never remember if it's an IPA or some sort of different beer, but yeah, Moon Man is a very good uh, IPA that they brew. They also have uh, several different, you know, other types. They have Kolsch's, they have uh, Blondes, uh, Stouts, you know, it's, it's really kind of hard to get into all their different types of beer, mainly because uh, they're limited, you know, distribution. Mm -hmm. um, I do know uh, I went to Wisconsin a few months back for a fishing trip and me and my dad got a bunch of New Glarus beer. I mainly just got like three six packs of Moon Man. And then my dad ended up getting a case of Spotted Cow, which is what a four six packs in a yeah. case you yeah. got four six packs in a case it's like 30 bucks so it's not cheap it's not cheap it it's is still a craft beer. beer but it is i'd say it's worth it honestly it's good it's very good and he also got a, a sampler pack of different beers yeah including uh one that's called totally naked okay and another one, it's a type of Kolsch. I don't know exactly what the name of it was. Moon Man and I think Spotted Cow. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've never had a bad beer from them. They're really good. Um, my first instance with the Spotted Cow was, I believe... When you tipped it? Mm, no. <laughs> um, we, um, I think it was my, um, my dad's side of the family, okay. my grandmother's niece, and they're very, actually very close in age. And we went up there for like their 50th wedding anniversary or something like that. And they had kegs. One keg was Miller Lite. The other keg was Spotted Cow. It was the gl most glorious night of my life. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we tapped that Spotted Cow keg pretty quick. So, but yeah, Spotted Cow, me personally, it's one of the best uh, craft beers of its kind. You know, it's not like a Toppling Goliath where it's like mostly IPAs or stouts mm -hmm. or stuff like that. It's just a beer. Just beer. You don't have to explain it to people. It's, it's simple, it's beer. but it's very good, very easy to drink. So I think with that, we'll go ahead and give these a pour. I think we'll do our own glasses this time. Yep. We got our own bottles this time. Yeah. This is a specialty one. All right, very gold, gold, yellowy. Well, little, hold on. Now not I gotta fill up to yours, so then when the chug happens, it's fair. <laughs> we're sipping. This is the taste test part. Well, now you're over mine. No, no we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> so if you look at it, it is. It's not clear. It is a little hazy. I don't know if I'd say hazy. So yeah, I wouldn't say. Gold. Well, there is a type of haze to it. It's gold, but uh, clear. It's got some good carbonation to it. So, sniff test. That is definitely beer. It smells, it smells like a... It smells better than a Bud Light would. It does. It's, you know, it's got a better... It's, it doesn't have like the can smell. Yeah, or, or the... Be, I, don't, I don't even really know. Yeah, most people, you know, when you drink a Bud Light, it's pretty just like, oh, Bud Light. Yeah. Yeah, you know, whatever, I'm sipping on this. Like it smells, it smells like more care went into this. Yeah, more care, more care and joy went into this, you know? <laughs> So, I think, yep. Yeah. So, we'll go ahead and go with the uh, taste. Give it a taste. I don't know if it's deceiving because of the cows being on the can, but I always feel like this beer just tastes milky. Like, almost. Yeah, you know, like there's a, a milk flavor. Like a slice, consistency. Like, or taste to it. Yeah. Like, I always feel like it tastes like a milk beer. Yeah. But it's not. I know what you mean, though. Like, you know, like if you drink a glass of milk or something like that, you know, you kind of have like not a film, but like a type of yeah. residue or something like that. And it kind of has that, you know, similar feel, yeah. but much more enjoyable, yeah. obviously. It's very, it's it's just, it's very smooth and just very easy to drink. Yes, very Beer. easy to drink. You know, I've always been like, you know, you go get Spotted Cow, it, it's, it's good. Yeah. You know. I mean, I can't really say much more than, you know, if you're wanting a decent, you know, a good beer to drink and, you know, a good craft beer that's a standard ale, it, you know, very good. Very yeah, good. it is. It, it's it's a very good beer. Mm-hmm. 
So if you're ever in Wisconsin, pick up a six pack, pick up a case, get you, you know, anything from New Glarus, really. If you love beer of all types, you know, they've got beer of all, all kinds. It's yeah. very good. Yeah. Well, I think we got to go to the next part. See, we even have enough room in the glasses. No. I don't. I don't either. Mine's mostly gone. Yeah, we're about the same spot. You want to just top her off? Yeah. It is. It's a good beer. Very good beer. Oh. It's a good beer. Good soup. <laughs> <laughs> So now, I mean, and here's here's the one part we have to do this part of the test here. But I will I will admit, you probably shouldn't chug this beer. Honestly, I mean, uh, it's a, it's a mean, good. I would say you could. I mean, yes, you could. I but know, I feel I like this is not something it. you should chug. I feel like it's something you you drink casually, you know, like yeah, you normally do. You don't but. chug it. But here we go. Cheers, clinkies. Yeah. That was very easy. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Made the eyes water just a tiny bit. Tiny bit. Just because it was a lot. But it's very bubbly. Very good. Very good. Um and a lot of carb there's compared to yeah. some of our other beers, there's a lot of carbonation. Definitely. Um you know, and this is the thing is though, is this is like their standard ale right. you know so it's got to be you know kind of like a, <laughs> i'm sorry it's got to be kind of like a bud white bud light budweiser sort of deal where you know there's there's good carbonation it, it's it's a beer for anyone right there it is okay now we it, can continue <laughs> exactly it's a like I said. It's a beer for anyone, right? I mean, it, it's like you know, if someone's gonna grab a Bud Light, you'd be like, "Hey, man, try some of those spotted cows over there." Mm -hmm. You ever had one? And they'll be like, "Oh no, I haven't tried one." Yeah, mm. I'm still burpy. I'm good now. <laughs> I'm not. I don't know what's going on. I'm still burpy. But I mean, there's there's a reason. Like, so the guy that left these here, he uh, he's the kind of guy that we walked into one of the local breweries in the area. And they're known for their IPAs and stouts. And he goes, what's the closest thing you have to Bud Light? <laughs> so that if that tells you anything, this this is definitely, it's a, it's a, for him, this is a fancy, like, yeah. oh, this is a treat. And, uh, and yes, it is, it is a treat. And it yes, is. we just stole his treat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Pomeranian, you know, here, come get your treat. Nope. Yoink. He left it in the fridge. Free game. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, I mean, when I first tried it, I was like, man, that's a really good beer. That is fantastic. Right. As I've gotten older and I've had it a couple times in comparison to some of New Glarus's other beers, yeah. it's a good beer. I wouldn't say it's super exceptional, though. Right. You I know, say, like, and first... with all due respect, because I do love New Glarus's beers and I think they're fantastic. Um, this is like, this is their Bud Light. Yeah, and I don't mean that negatively. I mean that this is like their f most famous beer. Everyone knows what this is, and it is a good beer. I do enjoy it. I do think that it it's not as good as some of their other brews that they make. I'd say the first time I even heard of it was, I mean, when I like in college, I had a friend who had a lake house up in Wisconsin, and mm -hmm. that's. For whatever reason, instead of going south for spring break, we decided to go north. And going north is fun though. Sometimes it, it, it was. A blast. I mean, there's a we, lot of things to do up there. We always had a great time. But I mean, I, I was telling some guys that I worked with that I was going up to Wisconsin. And he was like, "Oh, you got to get spotted cow. It's mm -hmm. the most amazing thing ever." And I was like, "I mean, I'm freshly 21 going on this trip, and I'm like, okay." And yeah. I've never had a beer before until yeah, right now. Ne never, <laughs> never. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so like I naturally I picked up some spotted cow on the way up because I had a recommendation to do so, and uh, we we all tried it. And we're like, oh, this is really good. And it it's is like, really good. It is, but 
I mean, the older I've gotten, the more stuff that I've tried. And yeah. What, I, I can't say it's my favorite beer. It's a mm -hmm. good beer. It is. It's mm -hmm. good. Um, but I don't, at the end of the day, it's not something that's just going to, like, we don't want to hype it up too much because it's not something that's just going to knock your socks off. Like, this is right. the best beer. It's not. I mean, it's it's an exclusive thing to Wisconsin. With all due respect, New Eclairs, we love you. Right. Don't. <laughs> like, but, like, Wisconsin people, like, people in Wisconsin love it. Yeah, and it's I mean, their they'll, thing. Take, they'll take it's this good. over Bud Light any day, mainly because it's Wisconsin. Oh, absolutely. And Bud Light is made in St. Louis, and you know, I'd Milwaukee Brewers. And Light. Yeah, definitely. I would take this over Bud Light any day. Don't get me wrong, I love Bud Light. I love everything <laughs> Anheuser-Busch, but um, <laughs> Cardinals fan here, so anything Anheuser-Busch, I'm in. Yeah. Um, but don't. Don't, don't hype it up too much. Don't go into it expecting this to just be the greatest beer you've ever had. Because it's not. It's not going to be. And then that's a fair, honest opinion of it. I mean, don't get me wrong. We've said this already. It's a good beer. It, it is, is very, very good. good. We enjoy it. It's nice to, you know, whenever you make a trip up to Wisconsin, you see it. And you get a six-pack or a 12-pack, 24-pack, whatever. It's a good beer. It's nice to have, you know, because we don't get it all the time. And, yeah. that's, and that's what makes it somewhat special. The only downside is, you know, when you're like you and me, we've had, you know, all sorts of different beers. We've mm -hmm. been to Toppling Goliath. We've been to all these different breweries. Well, the future the, episode at New Glarus. <laughs> Who knows? But, um, you know, we've been, we've tried all these different craft beers and stuff like that. And, right. you know, when it comes to this, it is a very good craft ale. That is my point mm -hmm. and statement on it. Mm -hmm. I think it's very good. When you put it against, put it up against the domestics that it's probably oh, going oh, to be oh competing God. with, this yeah. definitely beats This it. will definitely yeah. beat any most domestics on the market yeah. that you can get any time. You know? Like so, it's like for an example, Yinglings. Yinglings are only available in like what? Indiana? It, like like for some reason they don't send like it to the, Illinois. I'm gonna say it's like more like the northeast. Yeah. Like, I mean and I've had Yinglings. I have, I love Yinglings. It's one of my favorite, mm -hmm. you know, distributed beers. That's not necessarily a craft beer, mm -hmm. but like I said, these are, you know, kind of a step above. Yeah, you know, rating. Out of rating. Five. Let's go to five. Go out of five. Okay, I'm gonna give this a a solid three and a half. You know. Yeah. I, I'm really at that point where it's like, um, you know. It's not like a beer I've never had. I've already had this before. I enjoy it. I know what to expect with this. I know it's going to be a good beer. Mm -hmm. Having said that, I think it's a few steps above, you know, a domestic, widely right. distributed beer. Yeah. You know, but, you know, if, say, if someone handed me a Budweiser or Miller or Coors, whatever, but someone had a Spotted Cow, I'd be like, give me the Spotted Cow. Yeah. Because, it, it, honestly, it's a better quality beer and a better tasting beer. Yeah, definitely. I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm at about like a three seventy five. Like it's mm -hmm. it's definitely it's it's above. But I mean, it it it's like it's not a blow your socks off. I'm saying, you I feel know. like anything four and above is for the range of stuff that it's like you know this is this is like competing up in the range of some of the best beers that I've had. Mm -hmm. And I just this doesn't get there for me. But you know what? Based on the competition it's against, I mean. Yeah. It's 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 superior. Absolutely. So, all right. I've got a bottle cap. Heads or tails? You end it or I end it? What side is tails? Uh, this, the, the side that doesn't have the logo on it. Okay. Pick. Tails. It's heads. With that, give me a beer. All right.